Hi folks, Dan Dell here with Total Sales Solutions in Jackson, Mississippi, where we sell diesel trucks, trailers, RVs, a little bit of everything. Sell them only on the internet and mostly on eBay. Today, I've got what my dad would probably call it the, the prettiest truck we've ever had. If you watch many of our videos, you're familiar with him, but uh, this, this probably is uh, one of the top five or 10. This is a 2008 Ford F-250 King Ranch. It's got the 6.4 Power Stroke diesel, only got 130 something thousand miles. Um, and I'll take it back, it's got one, I think 129, one, anyway, somewhere around there, but it um, is a one owner truck. I just sold my 15 Platinum to the, and to this man that owned this truck and I took this truck in on trade and so now I'm gonna list it. He has just done meticulous service on this truck since day one. Uh, if you car fax it, you can see all the visits it's made to the uh, local Ford dealer. But let me take you on a little walk around then we'll go on a test drive. First you can see the grill not peeling, no bubbles or any of that. The headlights aren't faded and foggy. The bumper, I don't even think has a single rock pick on it. It's just perfect. It's got the chrome package with the chrome tow hooks, the chrome mirror covers, etc. 20 inch wheels, 20 inch tires, and they're Michelin tires. And trust me, that alone is what I consider the best way to tell how a vehicle's been taken care of, is whether they spent the money on the name brand Michelin Goodyear tires, or if they slapped some Kamasakas on it and called it good. But uh, look up under here, you can see we haven't touched it up or painted the frame or detailed it in the wheel wells or anything. This is just how we got it. It's just perfect. Mississippi truck since day one. Got the keypad entry. Got the uh, King Ranch seats that are perfect. Um, not even anywhere on the uh, not even anywhere hardly on the console lid it's not ripped or torn um, it's got navigation heated seats you can see how perfect the steering wheel is tilt wheel uh, power adjustable pedals it's got these weather tech floor mats you can look underneath they've done their job they protected it an older man on this truck, he hadn't been off mud riding and stuff. You can see that from the door jams because they're perfect. They're not covered in mud and fields. 373 limited slip diffs. And believe me, if you don't have limited slip diffs, you don't have a four wheel drive. You might as well keep on going. But uh, you can look behind here, factory subwoofer, factory tool kit. Flip it up. All the King Ranch seats are, I mean, just perfect. Power slide and rear window. Uh, got an extra outlet in the back. You look under the back here, no issues. I mean, just, this truck is just almost brand new. I mean, look in the gas cap. Look how clean it is. There's no signs of paint work or any of that. Underneath the back, you can see full-size spare tire got the high dollar B&W turnover ball in it the uh, man told me he had a little two-horse gooseneck trailer that he pulled his granddaughter's uh, show horses around in and other than that he didn't use it but you can see the ball itself it doesn't have much use at all plus it flips over so you can have a flat floor. It does have a tailgate step. I'll have a picture of that in the video. But it also has the factory tailgate extender, which you don't hardly ever see, and especially not one that's not broken or messed up. But look down the sides, arrow straight. The tailgate's perfect. It'll be in the pictures. Got the chrome exhaust tip. One little scratch right here that's been touched up. That's about the worst thing I can nitpick on it. But Look underneath, look down all through there. Especially if you're a Yankee, you haven't seen a truck this clean in a long time unless you've been hanging out at the Ford dealer looking at new ones. But 
the front of the bed straight. Nobody's rammed their four wheeler into it. See, it's got the chrome tow hooks. Also has the fold out, fold flat floor. It has it on both sides. I'm just going to show you this side, but all the seats just absolutely perfect. Look in the door pockets. You can tell if the truck's been worked on, worked out of, been a work truck by these door pockets. But it's got all the manuals. Got the uh, navigation disc. Look here, factory window sticker, fifty-eight thousand seven hundred and thirty dollars. It's got King Ranch with Chrome package, navigation system, audio file system, three seventy-three limited slip, electronic shift on the fly, supplemental heater, which means you don't have to wait on it to warm up in the morning it's got it'll, it'll put out heat right as soon as you crank it block heater power moon roof roof lights blah 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 it's got it all it's got you can see the moon roof there it's perfect all right there on the uh sun visor got the garage door opener you can program um i'm gonna throw all this stuff back in here but well, let me leave it out. I don't want to take a picture. But it's perfect underneath. Got the spare tire key. Got all that. If you have any questions about this truck, my name's Dan Dale. My number is 601-376-9869. Be glad to answer any questions you may have about it. Feel free to give me a call. Now I'm going to show you under the hood and then take you on a test drive. Okay, before the test drive, just want to show you under the hood. You can see we don't clean under hoods. This is just how it came in. It's a little dusty, but it's not muddy. If the truck's been out in the mud and the hot, muddy water, all these bare aluminum parts, they get a finish to them that you just can't get rid of. The uh, only real weak point on these 6.4s and mainly the 08s was the radiator. And you can see this truck has had a Mishimoto radiator put in it. That's about, I think about two grand right there. Those Mishimoto radiators are super expensive. You can Google those. They are ridiculously high. Plus you gotta take the whole front end apart to install it. So you'll never have to worry about this truck getting hot and I'm pretty sure they've got a lifetime warranty to boot. So nothing to worry about there main thing I want to show you is the truck has no blow by now it's got a little bit of smoke which all six fours and even the newer six sevens they smoke and they smoke you'll see a lot of smoke but smoke is not blow by you can see I set this cap down it doesn't blow off if your cap blows off that's blow by and what that is it's engine compression getting past the piston rings and into the crankcase and it doesn't mean this necessarily a bad engine, but it's a sign of wear. And this truck doesn't have any of that. Um, I just really, I, I didn't know it had this Mishimoto radiator um, until I looked under here under the hood. But man, that is a high dollar setup. So now we're gonna take you uh, for a spin. Okay, now I'm in the truck. Just wanna show you a few things before we get on the road. First off, you can see moon roof. It's nice. Put it in reverse. See the backup camera comes on. Put it back and drive. It'll go off in a second. Here's your navigation system. You can change the layout to true north or whatever. But it's also got a six disc CD changer. It's got um, AM, FM, CD. It's got Sirius. On your sound you can you can adjust all that around balance fade speed control volume I usually that on four but there's tons of different stuff it can do on like 24 hour um, it's got security you can put a valet mode in um, leave it on the map though dual zone automatic climate control you can set the different sides independently heated seats got your upfitter switches that's for if you want to um, 
add stuff this there two of these are 10 amp two of these are 30 amp so you can add stuff like light bars or winches or whatever there's your trailer brake controller it's built in power adjustable pedals it's got electric shift four-wheel drive you can see it pops right in right back out non-smoker that's trucks i don't think it's ever had a cigarette smoked in it uh, there's your ashtray extra cup holder down here and then your big cup holder it's got a uh, auxiliary input so you can plug your phone in or whatever that's just an extra power outlet um, that button is for the power sliding rear window you can see it's got power folding tow mirrors and they go in and out you can see both sides go in and out they go a lot further than that but automatic headlights fog lights you got steering wheel controls for your temperature your stereo you can set which media source you're using um, the um, cruise controls over here actually he's got the uh, let's see no wrong one anyway it's still activated so uh, be for a little while you got the tow haul mode you can see even the steering wheel is just in perfect condition so we'll take you on a little test drive you'll have to excuse my shaky camera work because I'm filming with one hand and driving with the other on some of the very very worst roads in the city of Jackson so even though the video may come out a little shaky rest assured that the truck itself has just a perfect ride and drive and one thing you can take away from all these bumps that i'm running over is that there's no clunks there's no thunks there's no slack in the suspension i mean this guy if you look at the carfax it's just had immaculate service i mean there's service 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 and at the ford dealer I'd, um, I called the Ford dealer just to ask them when the last time the oil was changed and um, they told me, they knew the guy by name when I told him the truck and he'd been coming there since he bought it new and it just had the uh, oil fuel, oil filter, oil, oil filter and fuel filter service so it's good to go on that. He said uh, 5,000 miles so it's this 100% ready so that's probably about around here about 250 300 bucks worth of uh, service that you don't have to worry about doing anytime soon this truck fires right up it runs perfect hot or cold and one thing you can uh, one thing it doesn't do is pull to the left or right and when you hit the brakes it doesn't pull to the left or right or vibrate when you hit the brakes and it like I said it fires right up hot or cold and whether you buy from us or whomever you always 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 want to hear a power stroke diesel crank cold because it's going to act up if it's going to do anything weird it's going to do it when it's cold and it may run perfect once it's warmed up but that's why you always want to hear it run cold so if there's an issue you'll know about it in this truck runs perfect hot or cold um, absolutely no issues there no cracks in the dash you can see the map working just like it should as we drive around it moves around like it should um, this engine's quiet like I said it has been DPF deleted and he did that as soon as it turned uh, 100,000 miles because once the warranty's out there's no reason not to especially on these trucks because these six fours they don't use that fluid like the newer trucks the way they clean their DPF which is also called the soot filter but the way they clean them is they uh, dump extra fuel into the rear two cylinders to burn them out and that causes a couple problems first of all it kills the fuel mileage because you're just dumping extra fuel out the exhaust pipe second of all 
if you're not on top of your service and your oil changes, well, all that extra fuel, eventually, little bits of it get past the piston rings into the crankcase, and if you don't keep on top of your oil changes, you can end up with 15 quarts of oil and five or 10 quarts of fuel, and that thins your oil out and just gives you all kinds of other problems. So it's just a win-win to do a DPF delete on a 6.4 truck. You just, there, there's no reason not to. And so that's about a grand you won't have to worry about spending because like I said, it's already done. And so you don't have to worry about it. It's good to go. He's got it set on a nice little tow tune. Um, it adds about 50, 75 extra horsepower, which these trucks came stock with 350. And um, so what that does is it means that right now it has around 400, 425, but it also maximizes the fuel economy. So. It's really the best way to go because that's plenty of power. I mean, you can turn them up. My last truck that I personally owned was a 6.4 and I had that thing cranked up to 600 and I pulled my scarab around with it. It did everything I wanted to do and I left it on full blast, but um, it's up to you, but I would, I would leave it on tow, but we can put it wherever you want to put it and we can turn the smoke up or down right now. It, it, does it in normal driving it doesn't smoke uh, you can make it smoke if you gas on it a certain way but in normal driving it's not going to smoke so if you if you google or get on youtube and search roll coal you'll know what i'm talking about now my truck if it was mine i'll leave it on tons of smoke that way somebody gets on my tailgate tap the throttle throw a little smoke on them they'll get off my bumper but not everybody's like that so it's up to you just to um personal choice we'll put it wherever you want to put it not a big deal um, if you want to fly in drive this truck home you can I would not hesitate to get in this truck and I drive it anywhere I load my family up in it I drive it to California tomorrow if I needed to go I mean it's just that nice of a truck it's one owner perfectly maintained um, not it's not even a crack or a rock peck in the windshield. I mean, there's there's you'd have to be trying pretty hard to find something to nitpick. I'll just put it that way. But um, like I said, we'll be glad to pick you up at the airport during our regular business hours. We'll bring you back to our office and do all the paperwork and feedback and everything. Let you get on the road. Or we understand most of our customers are buying from us because. We got rust-free trucks and we got good deals. And so you may not have time to spend several days flying or driving down and then driving home. So don't let the idea that you would have to ship it turn you off from buying it. Because if you look online at these places that will give you quotes online, don't let those prices scare you off either. Because depending on how much of a hurry you're in, we can save you as much as half off. and the way we're able to do that is that most of these guys you find they're not actual shippers they don't have a load of a fleet of trucks out on the road they're just brokers and they'll charge you hundreds of dollars and call it a deposit but really all it is is their fee uh, for posting an ad for you on this one website that's not open to the public that everybody uses to post loads and book loads and all that well we paid all the membership fees, joining fees, uh, monthly fees, posting fees, and all the other fees to be on that website. So we can offer you basically wholesale price on shipping. We don't charge a, a markup or a, a fee of any kind to our customers. Now, if you're not our customer, we'll post it for you for $50 and you'll still save money. But preferably you'll buy from us and we'll, we'll do it for free. But uh, if you're interested, shoot me a, a text or an email with your zip code and I'll get back with you on a good ballpark figure on shipping. Um, we're not the actual shippers ourselves, we just find somebody to do it. So usually it takes three to five days to find somebody 
sometimes we've got them picked up the same day sometimes it takes a little longer just I have no control over that but I can give you a good ballpark figure on shipping and if you're not in a hurry we'll post it for a lower amount and try and get a deal or if you're in a hurry we'll post it for a higher amount to make it worth somebody's while to make a detour to come pick it up or drop it off uh, you know might go a little out of their way to do it for a little more money but it's up to you like I said shoot me a text or email with your zip and I'll let you know a uh, good ballpark figure on it or if you're anywhere around Dallas or I used to say Houston but with what they've got going on I'm not sure anymore but Dallas for sure uh, Atlanta or pretty much anywhere in the state of Florida then I can get you a real good deal on shipping it'll be way cheaper than you could drive or fly up here and drive it home that's for sure and especially longer distances it's always cheaper to ship but um, just let me know I'll get you a good ballpark figure on it or I can uh, if you have any questions just call me I can explain how it works and everything you don't pay us for shipping because we're not the shippers we just find somebody to do it, they pick it up, and when they drop it off, you pay them. So that way you know exactly what it's going to cost to ship it. There's no markup or anything, no middleman. And just make it a, a real smooth, easy process. So if you're interested, like I said, shoot me a text or email, 601-376-9869. Be glad to answer any questions you may have about it. Um, or if you have any questions about the DPF delete, call me. I, there's a lot more I could go into that I'm not going to on the video, but if you have any questions, call me. I'll be glad to explain how it works and uh, about the different power levels and settings and um, smoking and making it smoke or turning the smoke off and all that. I can explain it to you on the phone, so just give me a call. One thing I want to show you, we've been driving 13 minutes or so now, and you can see on the dash, absolutely no warning lights lit. There's no engine lights, ABS, airbag, no service lights, or any of that. And I like to show that after we've been driving a while because you know, it's easy to hook your scanner up and kill a light and then take a picture, point the camera at it, and say, look, no lights on. But if there's a problem and you haven't fixed it then as soon as you start driving that light's going to come right back on it so that's why i like to show people that this truck really has no lights lit and you can you can see it for yourself and that way there's no question about it that uh, no lights are on everything's working like it should and all that so anyway if you're interested in this truck, want to talk about the price, about the delete, about shipping, any of that, give me a call. Dan Dale, 601-376-9869. appreciate you watching the video and hearing everything I have to say. And look forward to seeing you here in Jackson, Mississippi.